Okay, so I've got my two plan views on the sheet and you can see that I've already made a section view. Now, we know just by looking that the section at 1 to 50 will be as long as my plan would be. At least as long as my plan would be. So, I'll go and open that section view up and check that the scale is the same, it's 1 to 50, that's what I want. And then just like the plan view, I'm going to hide the things I don't need to see, like the reference planes. And I'm going to shorten the things that don't need to be quite so long, like the levels, which in this case stick out too far from my walls. So I'm going to shorten those just by stretching using the grips at the end. Now have you noticed there's one thing I didn't do. When I started, I just opened that section view up and then I went straight to clean it up. I didn't duplicate. So that's really important. Don't duplicate sections. That's all I'll tell you, just don't do it. The reason is, if you duplicate your section views, it's going to duplicate the references as well. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, if that's not clear, but if you know how referencing works, you might have an idea why it's a problem. Okay, so I'm not duplicating the sections. You can duplicate <coughs> plans and 3D views as much as you like. Don't worry about uh, duplicating those but I'd really recommend that you don't duplicate sections. Okay, so, so like I said, that section we know is going to be as long as this floor plan. So I'm going to have trouble fitting it onto this sheet. So I'll simply make a new sheet, no problem. I'm going to right click on Sheets All, go to New Sheet. Uh, yeah, I'll save it. Okay, so I don't need to load that title block again. It's already loaded. So I can just click OK and it's going to make another identical sheet. And then I'll find that section view. I've only got the one, section one. And I'm going to click and drag, place it on the sheet. Now, it's fitting, but notice how it looks too big. Basically, this label down here is too big. Even though I've tidied everything up, these things that are coming from my space are fitting, but again, the view itself is too big. And that's because of another setting that I haven't shown yet. So I'm going to delete that. And I'll show you this final setting that will help you a lot when you're setting up any view. And you'd know about this if you've used Photoshop. It's called cropping. So you'll see down on the view control bar, it's next to the glasses. The sunglasses there is basically a tool for hiding things. Next to that, you've got two buttons that control the cropping. So the first one, the one with the, do you all know the crop symbol? Yeah, so it's the two squares. Right? The squares are something you should be familiar with because you draw all the time, hopefully. Okay, so those squares there, mean crop and the one with the light bulb basically shows and hides the crop region that big rectangle that's why my view was so big because that crop region is still too big so once I can see it so that's a really important option that you can use to then show the crop region and it's really important that you can see that select it and then you can use these grips in the middle to bring that in. And this is just like in AutoCAD, adjusting your viewports. So here I've brought that in nice and close to my section. Also nice and close to my building. And now I'm also going to bring it in on the left so that it goes over the things that I don't need to see. I don't need to see the room or the space next to the bathroom. We're only designing the bathroom. So that's all you need to show. The other things aren't so important. 
They really just there to locate the bathroom. So it's fine to crop and just show a part of the floor there next to my bathroom, then crop out the rest. And now I can even bring those levels in further, just to make it a bit neater. Then I'll use the same button, crop with the light bulb, to hide the crop region there. I don't want to see that rectangle on the sheet. And that's much better. So now back to my new blank page, and I'll try dragging the section view across again. And just like before, now you can see it fits much better now that I've adjusted. So I'll go back to my first sheet now, and you'll see something interesting. Finally, I've got some numbers inside my section reference. So I've been trying to type numbers in to that section bubble there and not had any luck. It's because Revit doesn't let you. It does it for you. Once that view's on a sheet, the referencing's done. So again, we've got the same reference up here. And that's a really useful thing. But like I said, it's easy to make other sections. So if you haven't done that before, it's on the View tab. You'll find the Section tool. <coughs> so I'm going to click a point above my floor plan. If you missed that, I'll just show you again. So on the View tab, I've just clicked on the Section button. And then I'll click a point above my floor plan and then click a second point down below. It's that easy to make a section. So before I adjust that, I'm going to go to my bathroom floor plan, which remember is a call out, and just check that the length of that section line isn't too big or too long. Again, notice there's no referencing done as yet. So in my project browser now, you can see I've got section two. So firstly, the scale there is still on 1 to 100, so I'll change that to 1 to 50. Just like the floor plans, I can hide by right-clicking on those reference planes, hide in view category. Now, do you think you should have the section showing in another section view? You can. It's actually not technically not. Uh, incorrect, but you wouldn't normally show that. You don't need to. So, especially for interior design drawings, you can just hide those sections in other section views, hide in view elements or category, doesn't matter. And then this new section actually has the section box turned on already. So I don't need to click on that button to see it. It's already there. So I can select it and then just bring that in. And again, bring the levels in so that they're not as long. So that's good enough for now. And I'll then click on this button next to the glasses to hide my section box. And I know because this won't be a very big drawing or a very big view, I can go to the sheet that I had with the floor plans and probably squeeze that in over to the right here. There we go. And notice how now, again, the referencing is done. So I can just juggle these a little bit to get it to fit all nicely on my sheet. There we go. That might do for now. So we can definitely make that look a bit more presentable, but for now, uh, that's good enough. So again, here we've got a reference. You could leave that one, actually. It's not a terrible, uh, terrible idea to have the uh, cross-section there located on your long section. So that's optional. So 
Maybe I'll give you a chance to try that, and then we can have a look at the XOs uh, after that.